around us. So how can you continue to see the world as real if the self that is determining it to be real is intangible? I think the more you look at quantum physics, the more mysterious and wondrous it becomes. Quantum physics, in very succinctly speaking, is a physics of possibilities. Have you ever thought about what thoughts are made of? I think some of the things we're seeing with the children today is a sign that the culture is in the wrong paradigm and not appreciating the power of thought. Every age, every generation has its built-in assumptions that the world is flat, that the world is round, etc. There are hundreds of hidden assumptions, things, things we take for granted that may or may not be true. Of course, in the vast majority of cases, historically, these things aren't true. So presumably, if history is any guide, much about what we take for granted about the world simply isn't true. But we're locked into these precepts without even knowing it oftentimes. That's a paradox. Modern materialism strips people of the need to feel responsible. And often enough, so does religion. But I think if you take quantum mechanics seriously enough, it puts the responsibility squarely in your lap and it doesn't give answers that are clear cut and comforting. It says, yes, the world is a very big place. It's very mysterious. Mechanism is not the answer, but I'm not going to tell you what the answer is. Because you're old enough to decide for yourself. Asking yourself these deeper questions opens up new ways of being in the world. It brings in a breath of fresh air. It makes life more joyful. The real trick to life is not to be in the know, but be in the mystery.